Hello everyone, this is Samantha with God's Silver Lining, the author of the God's Silver Lining book series and standalone title, A Glimmer of Hope. I hope you're having a blessed day, and if you're struggling in life, let me just remind you there is hope. Without God, we wouldn't be here. So without God, it's truly impossible to make it through any situation whether we realize it or not. In the God's Silver Lining book series, and the glimmer of hope, we are reminded in so many situations just how amazing that God is. There's always more blessings than trials, and when you're right smack in the middle of a trial, there's always a blessing. Think about it. Today I want to talk about why Christian fiction is so important. There's so much negativity in the world. It's just the same with television. We're always looking for something positive, or something without cussing, or violence, or sex. It's hard to find, isn't it? But, it's the same with books. I like the old shows on television. I like a good, clean book. So, when God blessed me to start writing, I was so excited to get to write kind of a variety but all in one, Christian fiction romance has a lot to offer. And there's always a little mystery in there, too. That's always fun. Uh, a Glimmer of Hope, it definitely has a mystery and romance. And it's Christian fiction, so there you go. The God's Silver Lining book series, um, it does have, you know, some detective work a little bit and some... Uh, uh, medical stuff, so there's kind of something for everyone. But to get into depth, why I think it's important. Um, so oftentimes, we're all going through, you know, one thing or the other. Somebody is always going through something. And I feel like Christian fiction, it has a little something for everyone. It's, you know, the God's Silver Lining book series. There's nothing off the wall. It's all day-to-day -day life stuff, you know, daily struggles, daily blessings, and I just feel like there's such an importance for Christian fiction, just, there's just so many reasons, the characters, you know, nine times out of ten, somebody's going to be able to find their self in a character, maybe not exact situation, but say, you know, hey, I've thought that before. Or, I've been through that. I know someone that's been through that. And there's a purpose and a moral to the story. And God is the true author. I like saying, you know, me as the writer. I don't always know the outcome of the story until it's written. Uh, take uh, book two in the God's Silver Lining book series. One Step Toward Faith, for instance. I didn't know what was going to happen. Um, I didn't know the train scene was going to happen. I didn't know Melissa was going to be on the tracks and Garrett. Um, it's, it's a very intense scene. And it really makes you think about life and eternity. And that's another thing that I really enjoy about Christian fiction. You know, eternity... There's two places, and people don't like to talk about this anymore, but really, maybe even some preachers have, you know, but it's really the most important decision you will ever make, ever. And when we leave this world, whether that be through death or the rapture, there is only two choices we have, and we make that choice while we are living and breathing here on earth. There's hope until the last breath. After the, la the last breath leaves our body, it's over. But we have two choices. We can either choose to follow Satan and go down a path of destruction that leads to an awful, terrible gnashing of teeth, fire, never-ending, never-can-be-quenched place called hell. Or we can choose to follow Jesus, the most amazing Savior, man that ever walked this earth, sits at the right hand of the Father, 
It's not always an easy path to walk, but he promised he would never leave us. So we can choose that path and go to a wonderful, glorious place of no more pain, no more sorrow, no more suffering. Place of shouting, glorifying God, place called heaven. And Christian fiction does a lot of reminding us about our salvation. So, you know, and also, I know personally, in my books, um, Rod's books, I'm blessed to be a part of them, we reference a lot of scriptures. And I do use strictly the King James Version. Um, that's a personal decision, and I just feel like that's the closest to being accurate. Um, I don't like the word changes. I don't, I just feel like, you know, that's a lot of times adding to, taking from. I'm not comfortable with that, but that's a personal choice. But, um, I feel like, you know, that's another wonderful thing about Christian fiction. Um, the Bible scriptures can be added in, and you can, you know, a lot, I love how God ties it in. So it's, there's just a lot of reasons that Christian fiction is a big necessary uh, genre and a blessing.